Yippee Cheebus, it's Gizzy Greenfingers here. And yes, you are looking at my oak bonsai that I've been bonsaiing for the last 10 years from a sapling. And what's this update about? Well, this update's just to show Mick. Well, Mike, he knows who he is. He knows who he is. We'll take a closer look at the situation. But we are nearly in June. And this thing is going crazy. I'm going to have to take you off, I think. I'll take you off in a minute. We'll just do another spin round. So I've got branches coming out of every orifice that I can see. What does that mean? Well, I've never seen this tree look so good after I give it a bloody good root prune. That's right, bloody good root prune. And that was in spring. That's when you're going to do these root prunes. No, it's when you're going to do it, Gizzy. So, let's take you off. Oh, so what have we got? Well, we've got branches after branches, and I'll just move the tripod back. We're going hands-free, ladies and gentlemen, hands-free. What? Not hands-free. So because I have grown this from a very young sapling ten years ago, it's all in proportion. So I've not got myself... An oak that's been grown for 20 odd years and cut it and let it do its thing. This has all come from a sapling. And that curve, that curve you see, let's try and get a bit of light on the situation. Pow, pow. Ooh, we got some light on this. It's been raining all day. But that is just moss that just needs clean with a brush, really. I'm not bothered about that. But that, you see that twist in the actual, in the actual trunk? That is natural. That was not done with wires. And that is what made me think, ooh, I like you. I'm gonna have you. Because it's got character. That tree, this tree has got character. Now I call this tree Oakley. Yeah, I've got Oakley and I've got Willowy, and I've got, I've got a few, I've got a few, but I am an amateur. I ain't got a stickery do what I'm doing. I'm just learning along the way, and this is one of my creations. So what are you going to do now, Gizzy? Well, I'm going to tell Mick, Mike, whatever your name is. Go on, message me again. Go on, message me. He's like, hey, you ain't gonna. You got all quiet. You've gone all quiet. Because after I give this a good root prune, it's not looked, it's it's never looked so healthy. I've never had so much branching come out. All right, yeah, it's getting older, but it's never looked this good. I'll just take you off the light just so I can zoom you in a bit. But we've got, now this is where I have to do my homework, you see, because I'm gonna have to do some homework and actually learn about ramification on oaks and crap because it's a bit different to weeping willow and it grows a lot lot slower as well but i'm happy with this top bit this is going to be like the front of the tree i think i think that that could all change in in time now this is a bit i was a bit concerned about but we've got a nice branch coming out of there I've got another one coming out there, and then it'll just be cut off come winter. Now, I don't know if I just leave it this winter, this summer, sorry, if I just leave it to do its thing, or if I prune bits back as it grows, if it gets too long. I just didn't notice that. that can come off. off it will be 
Yeah, I got dirty nails. Just finished work. Ah, uh, did I not even cut that off properly? Not really. Anyway, it's off. So, we just got so much going on. But, that is where we're at. So we're looking at the base and when I did the root prune I had this woody mass and that is just wood. All of that is wood. Now I was a bit scared to cut that off which I could have but I had cut quite a bit of the root system off. Not enough to make me worry that it was going to die but enough for me to say mm-hmm. You better not do any more, Gizzy. So, alas, I stopped. And this is where we are at. We are at an award-winning oak bonsai tree. Award-winning, Gizzy. Yeah, it will be. Will be. So you give it a few more years. It's all in... It's all in the right sort of shape for being award-winning. Yeah, you think highly of yourself. Yeah, I do think. If if I don't, no one else will. So, yeah, I do think highly of myself. I know what's going to work. I can see what's going to work. you just got to give it time and have a little bit of patience. See, like, the same with this. So that all looks like it's starting to run away. So we, we snip these back. I'm going to snip these back, you see. Snip them back. That's not too bad. That ain't too bad. But I don't really want to be getting any higher than that, you know. It sort of wants to be Yamadori, Yamadori. Which I think it classes for Yamadori because of how short it actually is. But I think we're there. I think Mick or Mike's got the fucking gist of everything. And going, oh yeah, maybe I just shouldn't leave nasty messages before I actually see what happens. But it'd be sheer luck if he ever replies to me. Yeah, it'd be sheer luck if he, if Mike or Mick ever replies. But anyway, alas, if you have enjoyed watching this and you want to see more on this lovely common oak, then please do not forget to like, share and subscribe. And we will see you next time. Ta-da for now. Gizzy Greenfingers.